Hey everyone, welcome back to Tom and Emily's Beer Reviews today. Um, and today we got a really cool beer for you, a special one. Today we will be reviewing Coast Locale Pale Ale um, from Newport Craft Brewing and Distilling. Oh yeah, maybe we'll turn it here. They also own the, uh, the Radiant Pig that they um, do some brewing with too, but here we go. Newport Brewing Company. Emily was out there over the weekend and she was able to go to the brewery and get a growler of this. Um, we saw it on the website. We thought it looked really good. So we're excited to try it. Um, it comes in um, at 4% ABV, only 105 calories per 12 ounces. Um, and I'm looking up right here on the website. It says that Coast is a low-cal crushable pale ale that's perfect for everything from beach trips to backyard barbecues. Um, and they got Sabro, Citra, and Heller Till Blunt <laughs> Just leave hops. it. Just leave I think it. I said it wrong. But um, it showcases an array of tropical citrus flavors with a soft, pillowy mouthfeel. And I you am, will be the judge of that. I am really excited for a soft, pillowy mouthfeel. Let's get it open. Oh. Smells really good. Right. This for you. Tilt it. Yep. Oh, it's like really okay, like, really hazy. It's like lemonade color. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 That's what I call it. What? Uh, I was seriously not expecting. Oh, sorry. Let me hold that for you. Thank you. Um. It literally looks like lemonade. It seriously does. It's jeez. So, yeah. <laughs> Filling her up. Um, I was not expecting this to be so hazy. A low cal pale ale i was literally expecting to be nice and clear and bright this is straight Yo, up so smelling lemonade this, smelling this right now literally smells like lemonade it's like weird pineapple though too yeah. and peach so very juicy so this is like new england style yeah i didn't think it was new england style i said we gotta go for it let's go Okay. Can I say something first? Yeah. Um, delicious. So the first thing I notice about this is it is so light. So like you can tell that this is a 4% beer because it, it has like this beautiful big body. It's a little bitter. I would probably say it's probably like 30 as far as like the IBUs. Maybe 35. I'll tell you what. It's got a lot more bitter than most low-cal crushable... It, well, it's a pale ale, so typically those are have a little more of like that hot presence. But it's so light that you don't get that like bite in the back of like something that has higher alcohol. Here's the thing. I think this one is very good. Um, me personally, I think it's, de it's delicious. Very, very easy to drink. A little too easy to drink. I think it could use a That's little what bit. what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it could use a little bit more. It's it could like, use a little bit more flavor. So it's like it starts off really good and then it finishes almost like. Water. Yeah, like there's not enough. Like not in a bad way. Not like it doesn't taste like hop water because, you know, there really isn't a lot of. I don't, I don't get a lot of hop flavor from it. But in the beginning, right off the bat, it's like very it's good. So good. Like you can tell you're drinking a pale ale. Um, but then later on, it just kind of turns into this like really, really meadow, mellow, almost like not intense, light bodied like beer. It's not bad. You in know any what it's making way. me think of? What? It's making me think of um, every now and then I'll try like um, what's Athletic Brewing Company, like a non alcoholic beer for fun. It's like that. You get all this beautiful flavor of, it's delicious in the beginning, and you're expecting it to have that like finish that like a normal beer would, um, and it just ends like juice. It's like, it's like really just like, And honestly, juice. I don't really think to be, like it almost to me, almost doesn't taste like any bitter at all. Like I, I feel like it's- You get it in the beginning though. I don't know. It just doesn't, there's not too much in it. But it ends like clean. It is good though. I think a hot summer day, like it is today. Today reached about like 90 degrees, very hot out. And I think this kind of beer is perfect for it. Definition of crushable. Um, have I had like better like session IPAs? Absolutely. Yeah. 
and um, but it is very good. And honestly, for this one, I'm gonna have to give it. I'm gonna give this one a solid seven out of ten. Well. I personally find this to be phenomenal. I, you know, for what it is, it's a super light, crushable session pale ale. So it's not supposed to have that heavy body that a more um, alcoholic beer would. So it's supposed to be like that. And the amount of flavor that I have, I find to be super impressive because I feel like it's really hard to get that much flavor with so little alcohol in it. Um, a lot of, you know, session IPAs I usually don't like very much because there's just nothing to them. But this one has everything to it. I mean, you get like the bitter in the beginning, there's a ton of flavor. And yeah, you know, there, you can literally drink the whole can in like two seconds, but that's what it's supposed to be. It's a session. Um, so I think it's phenomenal. I, I, I would totally, I'm going to go like nine. I'm going to say nine. This is great. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I really think for, like, what it is, it's really, really good. Um, but I've also had some things that I think are same session IPA, same amount of calories. I think that it just had a little bit more flavor to me, but nothing saying bad about the beer. I'm just saying I've had things I think that taste a little bit more better. But if I'm there in Newport, you know, for the aesthetic, I'm grabbing some Coast, like, I'm definitely down for it. I can go through... I could drink like two six packs of these, like easy. On the beach, oh, yeah. on a sailboat, on very, the coast. Very, very good. I know what they're trying to do here. As I said, the only reason I gave it a seven is because I've had beers that were like this that I would give nine and a halfs. And this one to me is a seven. Well, there you have it. Check it out for yourself and let us know what you think. Cheers. <laughs>